OK, that's Harry Styles Treat People With Kindness. Bobby Pryor is here. Hello. Hello. Before I get on t to you and your brilliant travel, I just we need to just talk about ketamine a bit more because we're getting texts and emails. It's all so sad. Lauren says, I lost a dear friend to ketamine addiction last year. He was only 45. It ramped up while he was alone during lockdown. Tragic end to a great guy. Mike emails, years ago I was clubbing in Manchester, but I had a horrendous toothache, and one of the party I was with was a vicar. He offered me a small amount of ketamine for the pain. It worked. It was the only time I ever took it. It was such a bizarre situation, I will never forget it. That's uh, un unreal. The vicar's got the ketamine. Karen emails, I'm a nurse and a mum. The education around ketamine is really poor. The side effects are horrendous. Yeah, please tell your kids that you won't be able to control your bladder from the age of 30. And you might have to have some of it removed. It's really not worth it. Layla texts, while at university in 2007, I had a friend who became quickly addicted to ketamine. He became difficult to be around. He then died from a drug overdose in 2014, and it still sits with me. He was a caring, funny man and incredibly musically talented. Rick in Devon finally says, my son is addicted to ketamine. His life has been ruined. He now suffers from psychosis and paranoia. He's lost his house, job, friends, car, and driving license. On with the travel we go. Oh, Jeremy, thank you. A1M, County Durham, southbound, 60, Bradbury, 59 for Acliff. We've got a lane out because of a breakdown. The latest, if you're on the A63 at Everthorpe, is eastbound, closed completely, 